Next, we'll start with the diamond design. First, start stitches in the upper row, printed in black. When you complete stitching in the upper row, you can move to the lower row, printed in blue. Start with the number one on the left end and continue stitches towards the right, following the numbers. Knot the end of the thread and insert the needle from the back to the front side of the fabric by white triangle one. Insert the needle by black triangle two and pull it out by white triangle two. You'll always insert the needle by a black triangle and pull it out by a white triangle. Please make sure that the thread runs below the needle. With this mark, the thread always runs below the needle. Next, insert the needle by black triangle three and pull it out by white triangle three. At this point, you can tear and peel off the upper row of the sticker. Then, pull the thread upward and pleat the fabric. Where a teardrop sign is printed upward, the thread should be pulled upward. Fold the fabric in half vertically with your fingers to create a pleat and hold it. You then insert the needle by black triangle four and pull it out by white triangle four. Please make sure that the thread runs above the needle with this mark, the thread always runs above the needle. Then, insert the needle by black triangle five and pull it out by white triangle one. Tear and peel off the upper part of the sticker. Where a teardrop sign is printed downward, the thread should be pulled downward. Fold the fabric in half vertically with your fingers to create a pleat and hold it. Pull the thread downward and tighten the pleat. This way, you've completed one stitch. You can repeat making stitches this way. At last, pass the needle through the fabric to the back side and make a knot. After you complete the upper row, let's start stitching in the lower row. Knot the end of the thread 
and pull the needle out by white triangle one, positioned on the left end of the lower row. Proceed with the needle towards black triangle two on the right. Continue stitching following the numbers just like you did in the upper row. At last, pass the needle through the fabric to the back side and make a knot. You've now completed the first line of the diamond design. This time, let's create the single cable design. Start with the number one on the left and continue stitches towards the right, following the numbers. Knot the end of the thread and insert the needle from the back to the front side of the fabric by white triangle one. Insert the needle by black triangle two and pull it out by white triangle two. You'll always insert the needle by a black triangle and pull it out by a white triangle. As shown in the film, make sure the thread runs above the needle. With this mark, the thread always runs above the needle. Tear and peel off the sticker after you make a stitch. Holding the fabric firmly, pull the thread downward and pleat the fabric. Holding the pleat firmly, insert the needle by black triangle 3 and pull it out by white triangle 3. Please make sure that the thread runs below the needle. With this mark, the thread always runs below the needle. Tear and peel off the sticker after you make a stitch. Pull the thread upward and pleat the fabric. Holding the pleat firmly, insert the needle by black triangle four and pull it out by white triangle four. You can repeat creating stitches this way. At last, pass the needle through the fabric to the back side and make a knot. You've now completed the first line of the single cable design. Finally, let's create the double cable design. First, start stitches in the upper row printed in black. When you complete stitching in the upper row, you can move to the lower row printed in blue. In the upper row, make stitches in the same way as you did for the single cable design. Once you complete the upper row, you can start stitching in the lower row. Knot the end of the thread and pull the needle out by white triangle one, positioned on the left end of the lower row. Proceed the needle towards black triangle two. Same as in the upper row, make stitches towards the right, following the numbers. At last, pass the needle through the fabric to the back side and make a knot. 
you've now completed the first line of the double cable design. We hope this film will help you practice smocking stitches in the four different designs to start your own creations. Clover introduces different types of craft work with instructions on its website. We look forward to seeing you when you visit us on our website.